once you've started a new round, the first thing you need to do in a round is roll your command dice. Okay, that's presumably not these. No, okay. that's you meant to ask. What are command dice? What earth are command dice? What a good question, Matt. So command dice are some special dice with different symbols on. So you get these dice in the two-player start set, and they will have different symbols on, depending upon what they do in the game. Now, what happens is your leader actually generates these dice as well. So everyone gets three dice to start with. I would get my three here. And you get those no matter what faction you're playing. You always get three. But then, depending upon your uh, tactician stat for your leader, you get additional dice. Okay. So I've got my pack leader who has tactician one. So that means I get an extra dice. Okay. So some of them have tactician two means you would get two. So there are some abilities like um, communications relay, which gives you an extra dice as well. But typically, it's your, tech it's your leader's tactician stat that you need to be looking at, which dictates how many dice you have. Okay. So if you look at what are on these dice, you've got different symbols, and that indicates all what they can do. And also, you roll these at the start of every round. So um, the if you use all five of these in one round, it doesn't matter because in the next round, you generate them all again, roll them again. And if you don't use them, can you save them to the next round? No. Okay, so do you use them or not? Yeah. And they're gone. Yeah. Um, uh, and also, if your leader gets destroyed, so let's say my pack leader gets removed, I lose my additional dice. Okay. But you still have your three? Yeah, I still have my three base, okay. but then I don't get the additional ones. So let's have a look at these symbols. So let's start here. So this means you can immediately after you've activated one model you can activate another model okay so you spend effectively spend that dice yeah and then so that could be quite powerful double attack or something like that. yeah exactly so you know earlier on i was saying about you know getting models into the same cube to attack where you could move one in fight and then move another one in as and well you get your outnumbering bonus. yes okay. so you can only activate one additional model per turn so i can't just keep spamming additional models yeah. Uh, so that's really good as well for, say you want to guarantee you will get the next, you'll be first in the next round, you can spend your additional activation to activate another model and try and finish before your opponent. Well, okay. But yeah, tactically, for swarm armies like the Veermin, that's really good as mm -hmm. well. You've got this arrow with a one in. Now that means you can move an additional cube. So say if my anyone, movement... Anyone, anyone can move. Yeah, yeah. So say my movement is two, three on my uh, little ratty here. I could actually go one, two, uh, three into here. I could then spend my movement to go four there. Okay. Um, so that's really, really good for getting across the board. Um, it's also really handy for if you want to uh, move and shoot. If you want to try and get up high, so like one, two, three, that could actually then be a short action. I've used my okay, additional so that's movement. Okay, so free. It doesn't affect the length of the action at all. No, no, no. It just it gives you an extra cube, um, and that's very good for some of the weapons have a rule, uh, which means they can't you can't move and shoot. Now that's a normal because it counts as a long action basically to shoot that weapon. But if you use that, you could actually move into position. Shoot okay, as well. so you might think you're safe. Thinking, okay, that, that, there's no way that anyone can get up to that position. Yeah. And actually, roll, see. <laughs> yeah. We might be able to. Got to be careful about that. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, this is a free um, assault action. So let's say let's say Trevor had survived against my nightmare here. What I could do is I could spend that, and I would immediately trigger another assault action. As soon as you concluded his initial activation, yeah. you'd spend that straight away. Yeah. And fight again. Yes. So that's really good for you know if you've got if you've got a unit that's great in combat actually you know getting to attack twice in quick succession it can take someone. I presume out as well. you know, this is all in your turn. I can't in your while you're doing something say no. I'm going to move a cube. Yeah. So the majority of these, apart from well, we'll come to those in a minute. A majority of these are always just in your turn. So you can move an extra one. You can fight and things like that. So we've had an extra assault. This is an extra shoot. So earlier on, you asked, oh, can I shoot twice? And I said, no. But actually, what you can do is you can use one of these 
to trigger an, an additional shoot action. So say you've got your Marine here, you could shoot, maybe you missed the first one, and you're like, actually, I really need to take this space rat out. You could use that to trigger another shoot. Does that, regardless of does any weapon? You can yeah, yeah. So um, like I was saying, there's some of those weapons that can only be fired as a long action. You could potentially sprint and then use that to actually use as your shoot action because it counts as a separate one. This one is quite an easy one. This gives you an additional dice. Let's say you're up here. You've got a good shot here on my leader. So you might say, okay, I start with three dice. I'm going to use an additional dice because I'm high up. And then actually I'm going to throw in another dice to really try and take you out. And is that, can you add that dice to any kind of dice test? Yeah, it can be a survive test. It can be a fight test. It can be an assault test as well. So any, any way you think you might need kind of a little bit of an extra boost, you can do that. Uh, and then finally, we have the splat. Um, and what that is, is leaders all have special abilities. Um, so it might be that you can move an extra character or, or you'll get a bonus for your defense. And these are called like uh, command abilities. So if I look at my pack leader, for example, uh, they've got an ability called Feral Rush, which means I can select a model from your strike team that is within three cubes of the active model, move it one cube towards the active model. So it'd be things like moving them around, giving them better defense, those sort of things as well. And they are triggered by spending these kind of splats. So each leader is different, and that will actually that will sort of tailor how you build your team because you might want to build a team around that command ability. And then so so actually, interestingly, I'm just looking at one of mine. So normally, I guess it's the same thing. You spend this in your turn. Yes. So, but I've got my Corporation Marine Sergeant has an Overwatch ability, which uses this when an enemy model moves into a cube. So actually, then you're spending that in the the yeah. other person's. Yeah, so when I was saying about the majority of these are spent in your turn, actually some of these command abilities will be spent in your opponent's turn as well. That's interesting. And some of them do really sneaky stuff, like the, uh, the Marauder leader can spend a splat to steal one of your dice. So okay. that's quite good as well, because you can have a look at, oh, actually, I'd, I'd quite fancy using so that one. you're stealing the result rather than you don't re-roll that dice. You're yeah, you're stealing the result, the result. Okay. yeah. So, so there are the six different kind of uh, abilities you can do. What you can also do is you can spend one of these dice for a reroll. So you might say, why would I want to spend one of these dice for a reroll? Well, I was just, think, I was just wondering, because I was wondering about the dice themselves, because you might actually get ones that aren't, aren't helpful to you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. so there you go. And that's exactly why. So in uh, Dead Zone 2nd Edition, basically once you'd rolled them, that was it. But for example, you know, we've already established your GCPS aren't great at uh, fighting. Uh, so, it's, so if you rolled a load of these, you'd be a bit like, oh, I've got a load of defunct dice here. So now what you can do is you can actually spend them for a re-roll. So say you'd, uh, you'd been shooting up here again, down here, you had a bit of a duff roll. Actually, I need, to, I need to take this rat out. I'm going to spend my assault action for a re-roll. Now what's interesting is, is when you've got a bit of a dilemma and you think, well, actually, I, let's say you'd rolled uh, you know, another, another shoot, what do you do then? Do you do you, you probably would be better in that case shooting, or you could use like an extra activation or an extra movement. So you've got a bit of a dilemma of do you use it for the reroll to try and guarantee an instant kill, or do you use it for something else? But can I spend say could I spend add that, that many three of these all in one go to add three dice, or could I spend three to get three rerolls all at once? No, so it's limited to how many you can spend. So you can't like you can't, for example, use. Uh, an extra move and a shoot dice at the same time. You have to use one or the other. Okay, so I can only add, ever add plus one dice. Can't, can't you can add multiple dice. dice. Okay. Yeah. You can add multiple dice to the, to the roll as well to really guarantee. Okay. You Could I buy, can I buy more than one? No. So. You can only buy one reroll at a time. And you can't reroll a reroll. So they're command dice, and they can really kind of affect how the. It's a bit like you imagine. In the chaos of the battlefield, it's your leader shouting things to do. So sometimes you, know, the, you might not get the result you want, but that's exactly what you know happens in battle. Really, you're not going to be able to. Your communications might break down, or something might happen that you can't then fight against. But at least in, you can use them for something. Yes. Yeah. Okay.